Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be starting a painting of some ornamental corn. Start by sketching a large oval lightly with your pencil. Then lightly draw some wavy lines coming out from the top. These will be the husks. Now lightly draw some horizontal lines going across. Be sure to space these out about an inch apart. Next, draw some long vertical lines going down and be sure to space these apart about an inch. Now it's time to take out a paint marker. Please remember not to shake your paint marker. Also be sure not to press down too hard or squeeze your paint marker. Just let it gently glide along your paper. Now we will create ovals inside of each box. These will be the kernels for our corn. When you're finished, carefully carry this over to the drying rack. Today we will be adding paint. First decide if you want to use the warm colors or the cool colors for the corn. I think I'm going to go with the warm colors today. Go ahead and wake up your warm colors if that's the set you'll be using. Start with the lightest color. If you are using the cool colors, you would use green. But since I'm using the warm colors, I'm starting with yellow. Fill in random kernels all around your corn. Now I'm going to rinse my brush and use some orange. You can add some orange to some of the yellow kernels while it's still wet. This will make a tertiary color, yellow-orange. I think I'm going to add a few more yellow kernels, so it's time to rinse my brush again. Now let's add some red.
If you add some red to the yellow while it's still wet, it'll make orange. If you add some red to the orange while it's still wet, it'll make a tertiary color, red-orange. Don't forget to paint in your husks with the same set of colors. Since I used the warm colors, I'm going to continue using those three colors. Today we will be painting the background. If you used the warm colors last time like I did, today you will be using the cool colors. If you used the cool colors last time, today you will be using the warm colors. You can paint the background however you would like. You could do stripes, polka dots, or just patches of color. I'm doing some diagonal lines in the background. This top corner looks a little dark. Be sure to add plenty of water. Now I'm going to add some stars and polka dots on top. When you're done, carefully carry this over to the drying rack. I hope you have fun creating your ornamental corn.